Hey, what's going on folks? It's JC over at Dr. Detail Auto Detailing and Window Tinting. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to remove, I've already started on a little bit of it, these decals. So anyway, what you'll need today is either a heat gun or a blow dryer. It doesn't really matter. You'll need a bottle with some distilled water or regular bottled water. No tap water. Tap water will stain up the paint. A clay bar, a light to medium bar, if you can find them. Uh, you can find light bars like McGuire's makes them. So you can find those at Walmart discount, uh, O'Reilly's, wherever. And you might have a little problem finding these, but you can find these online. They're plastic razors, and they're really nifty. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna come over here with your heat gun or your blow dryer, and you're gonna start heating up this vinyl. Like I've said in my videos before, vinyl likes to get hot and relax and start coming off at 225 degrees. So what I do is uh, I count to about 25 and I'm up pretty much at 25 in my head. Oop. So you'll take your blade and you want to do this kind of quick because your vinyl will cool quick. Especially when you're air conditioning like I am. So you just can't see how it comes right off folks? Boom. Boom. And you can use rubbing alcohol to remove your glue. And I know you can't see it too well, but there's glue everywhere. Hear that? Glue everywhere. So I'm going to take my bottled water, my fresh bottle, making sure nothing's ever been in it. Get it nice and wet. So you grab your bar, and you want to use a brand new bar, making sure it's never been on anything making sure that you don't drop it on the ground anything like that you drop it on the ground you might as well throw that piece of bar away and uh, they'll give you two bars or so in your little kits I've seen because I've been out there and just dug in there to see what the hell they give you they give you some solution the solution will work for gliding so that will skip the one process of the bottle and the bottled water so if you do go that route with McGuire's clay bars They'll give you a nice little lubricant. So you see how the clay's sticking? That means that's glue. See the clay? That's glue. So we're going to just keep rubbing it. Don't worry about the clay sticking to the paint. Because it's not sticking to the paint, it's sticking to the glue. Alright. Give it a little spray. You see, like I said, you don't know what decal they used. Sometimes different guys' glues on the Orcal, 3M, stuff like that, can be very aggressive. So I'm going to come back behind my razor blade. And remember, this is not hurting the paint. It's a brand new blade. Does not scratch paint. Does not cut paint. Won't cut glass. Won't do anything but remove so sometimes this can be real tedious it takes a little minute but just be patient and keep playing it until it's smooth see how it's smooth like this it's not stopping at all and you you won't feel glue over here see how it's sticking that means there's glue so I'm going to take a new piece of the bar Grab some of this stubborn glue. Like I said, if it's leaving a little bit of blue or yellow or white, whatever color bar you're using, don't worry about it. So I just wipe off my finger. You definitely want to find some gloves because this clay is real sticky. And the stuff that it's removing is going to be sticky too. there. I start, I'm starting to feel it getting real smooth, but there is a little stick. That means it's just a little bit of glue. It's being stubborn. And glue can be very, very tedious to get off. Especially if it's 3M. They don't like to let go of their glue for nothing. Let's give it a little bit more lubricant. Starting to clean up more. 
I feel just a little bit of pause in that one spot. So, take your clay bar, bundle it up, reshape it, reform it. All right, now we're gonna start with a fresh piece. Here we go again. Grab a little water over here, keep it nice and glidey, smooth, and look at that, folks. It's gone. Oh, wait a minute, look at there. That one little stubborn spot. So you can tap on it, bang on it. I mean, it's not gonna hurt the paint. And as you can see, hold on one second, let me grab a microfiber. Right back.